Good morning, everybody. Welcome to uh, the Angeles Forest. This is going to be my one and only SEMA car of 2017. So uh, this is Eric from Black Diamond Wheels. Thank nice you for you. for joining me. And uh, we've been trying to get this one on the books in fairness since before SEMA, uh, but schedules and things happened. So the uh, supercharged wide body airbagged Mustang GT. Yeah. SEO gold, my friend. SEO gold. <laughs> tell me about uh, tell me about your shop's project car. So we do aftermarket wheels, uh, anything from 19 to 24 inch. Okay. Um, big rims. You big only rims. do big. So if well, I want, if I need 16s for my 911, you can't help me. No. All right. Not so, not, not as of now. All right. We do a lot of a lot of wide wheels. You know, okay. 20 by 11 and a half, 20 by 10. Uh, for wide so, body stuff and trucks. Wide body and uh, a lot of the Mustangs now they want to go aggressive so. Right, so so with a Mustang, if you if you really want the Mustang to handle, you want a square stance. Yeah, you want her on the same size tire all around. Um, some people like a stagger for a drag setup, or if yeah. they like the look uh, for handling, square stance is the way to go. And I think a lot of people don't realize how much front tire you can get on a Mustang. Yeah. There's a lot. So yeah. so what are you running on this widened car? It's ten and a half front, eleven and a half rear. Okay. The two eighty five, thirty five, twenty in the front. Okay. Plates. Okay. And then the rears are three fifteen, thirty, twenty. Okay. Cool. So I'm interested. We're we're now laying frame. Are we on the ground? We are on the ground, I believe. Um, Last I, I checked. I raise it. Let's go. Let's go up some more. Let's go to normal drive height. Right. What is this air? Which air system are you using? Uh, airlift. Airlift system. Airlift, airlift uh, is an interesting one because it's actually a dude whose name is I'm blanking on right now but who actually races in time attack on airlift he's got an sti on airlift that actually is very very fast uh very impressive so are we up yeah we're ready to drive yeah okay let's drive so the whipple is i think 750 crank would you say six 614. 614 at the wheel? Yeah. So that's a standard, uh, that's a Cal is it a California legal kit? It is, right? Yeah. That's a 50 state kit. We've uh, we've seen that kit before. The uh, Hennessy uses it, a bunch of a bunch of people do. Um, well, the turn in is pretty good. Didn't expect that. The ride is actually pretty good as well. I thought it would be a little bouncier and sloppier, but actually it feels uh, precisely yeah. controlled, yeah. What kind? What type of wheels are you using? It's like a JDM looking wheel, right? Yeah. Oh, oh, and that's where it's gonna happen. Can we get a little more height in the front? Yeah. Give, a, give me a half inch in the front if you can. See if we can get rid of that. Because that's no bueno. The turn in, there we go. The turn in seems sharper than the last GT I drove, which is good. Whoa, yeah, and really sharp. That good mid corner grip. What kind of tires are these? Archer blades. Oh yeah. yeah, sticky. Yeah. The sticky icky. Yeah. Yeah, it's got good grip. It does have good grip. <laughs> I mean it's and it's got so much power that you yeah. almost <laughs> never have to use full throttle really. Yeah. It's still, you know, I still my one gripe about Mustangs in general, with the exception of the Shelby R is that you always kind of feel like you're up above the road, you know, you're you're up here, you're not really down on it, part of it. You're kind of hovering up while the car does what it does sort of beneath you. What I like about your airlift system is that it actually has really good body control and it's getting a lot of feel into the cabin. I admit when I saw this car, I thought there was no <laughs> way this thing would drive good, but so far, pretty nice. Pretty nice. I just gotta learn how to drive like this. Ah. <laughs> Thanks for practice. So as a street car, I think if we went to the track, I think we'd find you'd reach the limit of understeer first because your rear tires are uh, bigger than your fronts. Or sorry, narrower than your front. Wait. So no, the rears your are rears wider. are wider than your fronts. Yeah. Sorry. Slight brain damage while whipping, that's all. <laughs> um Yeah, we got uh but as a street limit. car. So how much wider is the actual body work? About three to four inches. A side or total? Total? No, each side. Each side, yeah. So how wide, if someone were really so inclined, 
how wide could you fit back there? Um, the wheels? Yeah, like if you could you put like I mean, yeah, you could go a up 13 to, inch yeah, wide wheel yeah. or something crazy. If yeah, you, you go up to 13 inch. We do a lot of negative offsets, so a lot of custom drilling, custom fitting. Just negative offsets could be read as VIP stance, right? Yeah. Or stance stance nations. Yeah. But we go as low as let's say negative 15. So negative 15 yeah. degrees of camber. Negative 15 offset. <laughs> offset. Offset. <laughs> So the offset, so we can, we can offset the is, out. yeah, so that's if you want to go with a wide body kit yeah. without redoing your complete suspension geometry. Yeah. Is that what's been done here? Yeah. That's strange. I'm, I'm actually surprised that it does drive as well as it does because um, usually the geometries get kind of wonky when you start doing that. And again, you know, I'm on a road, I'm not on a track, so the harder I push it, it's possible that maybe you... you make some of those weaknesses come to light, but as a 7 tenths road car, not bad. It's got so much mid-range, like, you just don't ever have to do more than, like, half throttle. It's just, it's crazy fast. We'll flip around here, this is a good spot. And, oh, by the way, it sounds, uh, rather nice as well. Yeah, of course, uh, Corsa exhaust, Corsa sports yeah. exhaust, yeah. And it's but it's got cats and stuff, right? It's full, yeah, full 50 state, yeah. So what else have you done? So airlift, wheels and tires, wide body, supercharger. Is that yeah. pretty much the extent of it? Yeah. And just the exhaust and the exhaust. Yeah. That's about it. You know, I mean, we, we look built at it for SEMA. Admittedly, <laughs> when I saw the pictures of the car. I wanted to drive it, but I expected it to drive not so good. Yeah. Um, but given the balance, the ride quality, the grip, the turn in, it drives a lot better than I expected it to. And to that, I give you and your guys full points. It's fast. Yeah. It's definitely fast. I really maybe it's maybe it's the, the seat or something like. I want to be lower, you know. I want to get. I want to be yeah. down more. I feel like I'm riding high. I feel the same way in E90 BMWs, E92 BMWs, yeah. where you're up on top of it and not down in it. I want to be down in it a little more. We go all the way down. Well, no, it's not the seat. I am all the way down. It's not. It's, it's not the. Uh, oh, we can, <laughs> we can just slap. drive around Dragon Frame. Can you can you go like extra high as well for object clearance? Yeah. For that? Yeah. yeah, that's what I do. Going through a driveway. Overall, are you? Would you say you're you're happy with that airlift system? Yeah. You like it? Yeah. Do you have to? Do you ever get annoyed having to like listen to the compressor in the trunk once yeah, in a while? Yeah, sometimes letting you know. Once in a while, I hear, I would hear those and I just go. Nah. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, but you gotta wait a little bit till it fills air. You know, Mustangs are interesting because it's. I wouldn't say you should go put an airlift on like an M3, but Mustangs are kind of. They're so generalized from the factory. You know, they need to be everything to everybody. They need to be rental cars. They need to be sports cars, daily drivers, the shitty roads in Detroit. You know, and so you can go with a Mustang. There's a lot of improvement you can make. And the air, this airlift system seems to be have really nice body control. I like it. I like it. It's fun. I like it very much. It's nice. How long has this uh, has the car been in, in its current modified state? No, oh, for two years. Two years? Yeah. And has it behaved itself? It's been good? Yeah. Yeah, we built it at 2015 SEMA show. We oh, had really? It our, it's, been, it's been a minute, huh? Yeah. We had it in our booth and then... How was your SEMA this year? Good. We had another booth. It, uh, a, lot of, a lot of traffic. Yeah, it's, uh, it, it really sucks the life out of you, but if it's your job to be yeah. there, that's where your money is made. Yeah, I was there for 10 days. I'm impressed. Can we, what, what, are there other ways we can set it? Can we adjust the... Can we put it in comfort or sport, or is it just a height adjustment? No, I mean, you could you have the settings of the, the sport mode. Oh, does it, does, it, does it do that? Does yeah. it adjust the suspension for that? Uh, oh, wait, hang on. Let me, ten, let me think about... Oh, no! We go past one blocker just to end up with another one. 
I'm sorry. What were you saying? So the the no, you can, yeah, you can set those that settings are for your drive line, yeah. right? They're not yeah. for the suspension. So this is your one your one setting for as far as the comfort level goes, yeah. right? Okay, cool. And I have a drive height and drive uh, height, object clear height, yeah. and then three wheel motion. Park. Hard park. Oh, buddy. We're so like it's the problem is like a half a mile. It's like a half a mile. Do you let it clear for half a mile or do you just suck yeah, it up? I don't know. I I think it's amazing, let me just say before we wrap this up, that the the fact that you can buy a you know thirty five thousand dollar and change nice cut Mustang GT and get what is it, a seven thousand dollar blower kit, sixty five hundred seven thousand yeah. dollar blower kit, the Whipple, and go fifty state legal, seven hundred and fifty crank horsepower. Yeah. That's just crazy. I mean, we are in some time. My old school three hundred two. You know, you put it, you put some crazy heat soaky blower on that thing, and you go at maybe three fifty to the wheels. You know, yeah. it's amazing. <laughs> this thing is just there's so much horsepower available. It's just a little whoop. It's nice. Uh, I'm impressed, Eric. I thought this car would not drive good. But once you adjust in the height to get rid of the rub, very nice. Very nice. I like it, buddy. Thank you. Black Diamond? Yep. I'll Black put Diamond the links wheels. in the description. Black Diamond Wheels. Where are you guys out of? Silmar. Silmar. All right. Well, listen. You want to get some rims? You want some big ass rims? Some wide body? Uh, hit Eric up here. He's got you covered. This this car, it works. It yep. works. It's not it's not a typical SEMA car. It's a real car. Yeah. You can drive that car. It's fun. Thank you very much, Thanks Eric. So much. I appreciate Thanks your time and your car. Good luck with it. Thank get, you. get some rims on them <laughs> cars. Thank you guys for watching, and uh, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Later.